When you went to bed Saturday night, what did you think was going to happen with the committee on Sunday? I thought exactly what transpired would transpire. I had it right. I said it on the uh, end of our broadcast at the SEC game that I, I envisioned Louisville winning the game because the third string quarterback would play for Florida State. Congratulations, Florida State's defense for playing so brilliantly. Uh, but I did think that the SEC's champion would find a way in. And by means that Alabama was in that role, they'd bring Texas with them. Why did Florida State get left out? First of all, it's crushing for all of us who coach, knowing what Mike Norvell's going through. Uh, I saw his face as he got the news on that screen, and it was, I mean, devastating. Can only imagine. Because what else do you do other than win all your games? Uh, but the, it's there's the SEC and the Big Ten. I, I think Washington, Dan, should be the number one team. I mean, Washington's in the better conference this year. The Pac-12 is a better conference. They beat Oregon twice. Michigan has the Ohio State victory, who's already jettisoned their quarterback. I mean, Michigan's victories, <laughs> Iowa was 133rd in offense. Michigan State was 128 in offense. Minnesota was 125th. Rutgers was 123rd. Nebraska was 118. <laughs> Indiana was 101st. East Carolina was 130th. And Bowling Green was 105th. That's their schedule. And and they had 1.9 yards per carry against Iowa, less than five yards an attempt against Iowa. I Michigan Washington should be one, and so here's here, here's my point. My point is the Big Ten and the SEC are always going to get in because they move the needle television wise. It's nothing that's discuss, It's discussed in the in the uh, meeting room. I don't think anybody sits there. Well, these two are in, but they're in. They have to be in because they can take their ball and go home. I was with Larry Scott when the college football playoff was discussed, and it was adamant amongst many of the commissioners that the four teams had to all be conference champions. Yeah. Mike Slive said no. And he was going to say, I'm not in if we don't do it this way. And he wielded that kind of bat. And I don't say it because he's bad. He had that kind of influence, and he was taking care of his conference. So Michigan as the big 10 champ has to be where they are. And Alabama is the sec champ has to be in. And by virtue of Texas's victory over Alabama, they're in as well. I would tell you if Georgia would have won that game, it would have been Texas out. Florida state would have been in. I truly believe that. Okay. Does Georgia have a gripe of not being in the final four? Sure. But there's just no room at the end this time. I mean, they can't get in over Alabama. And they can't get in because Texas beat Alabama. It just, there was no room. Yeah. Uh, and it, this is just one of those weird years where we've got uh, so many really, really talented teams at the top. I wonder, maybe it's conspiracy theory, that the playoff committee goes, uh, yeah, Michigan, you're in. Sign stealing scandal. Your reward is you get Alabama. Maybe so. Maybe so. Because, again, I, I thought that uh, Michigan uh, should have been behind Washington. Now, the only thing, the only metric that they can say Washington's behind Michigan is, you know, game control. Michigan pounded uh, lesser opponents. And I just went through that resume list. Uh, by the way, have you ever heard of a team going into a game where they over under of the first half point title is one half. <laughs> the the new fight song at Illinois at Iowa is "How Low Can You Go?" The limbo song. I know it's a, it's incredible. I know, but uh, I, I I do believe that uh, I the team that would surprise me most winning it all would be Michigan. Why? I th I think Alabama because they're the least explosive team of all of them. The other three teams have the ability to put up points and make big plays. I don't know that Michigan has that same kind of skill.